Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how you can make a background using delusion paints. One of my favourite techniques is making my own papers and today I'm going to show you how to do a striped background. This is the layout that I have made previously and I've used the um, stripes. So this is the delusions paint and that one is done in the vibrant turquoise from memory. I am going to be working in the London blue. I'm going to work on just a small sheet today but it's the exact same principles basically no matter what you're working on. I'm using the mini distress tools. So I've got those with the mini um, just blending foams on and as I said with the London blue which is a nice vibrant blue. I'm using our washi tape. We have a three pack of plain washi tape. Now you could use any. I like the plain because you can sort of see where you're working. So we have a three pack with three different widths in it which is really nice if you want to vary your widths of your stripes. I really like to reuse my washi tape so today you'll notice I'm using some that um, I've used. It's better when they're not really really sticky. One new piece here and I'll show you how I start off with my washi tape. A couple of pointers with the distress paints. People quite often overload their blending tools. You really only need a little bit of paint on your blending tool. If you get too much, a few things happen, bleeds a little bit, it doesn't dry as fast, which uh, makes using this stripe technique a little bit harder. And also you wasting paint. <laughs> Who wants to waste it? Uh, this lasts a really long time. So um, don't overload the blending tool. You shouldn't find that your paint is going all the way through the back and clogging up the back of your um, Velcro there. Um, if that paint keeps going through to there, you'll end up, it'll all go hard in there and clog up and you won't be able to take off and on your blending foams. When I start uh, with my washi tape, I'm using the widest of the three widths today. This one, um, all I've done to the width, and you probably can't see unless I tilt out my, there we go, to you see, just Use your top, your jeans, get a little bit of fluff on it. You don't want to have your washi tape too sticky to begin with. And I'm just going to pop it on an angle, lightly press it down. You don't have to push it really hard. I'm being a bit naughty today. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just kind of whacking it down. You might want to measure your stripes so you know exactly how far apart each one's going to be and mark it all out and all that kind of jazz. So I've got a little bit in there. That will be plenty for what I'm doing. Um, I'm just going to pick up a little bit and that's heaps. So you can see there I've not covered even the whole thing. It's not seeping out the sides. And then I'm going to pop it onto my mat and I'm going to blend it out a little bit. Okay. And that's going to move it around the blending foam so there's an even layer around. But it's also taking off a little bit too. You don't need it loads loaded and loaded up then i'm just going to wipe that over my striped area and let it sit for a couple of seconds the washi tape it doesn't dry quite as quick so because i'm going to go in um and show you how i've done a little bit of shading to get a little bit of depth into it um i'm just wiping off the bit that's on the washi tape um so that i'm not picking that up as i'm blending this is hickory smoke. So this is the distress ink. I'm using the hickory smoke. It's a light grey colour. And again, blending it out onto my mat first. And then just from the edges, just a smidge. Just a little bit of dark. Not much. I don't want to take that blue blue away. Um, but I just want to give it a little bit of depth from the edges. Very gently peel back that. Oh, I might do this side first and move this side. Very gently peel back your tape and then we're going to lay it. I said you'll probably be smart enough to mark all this out before you get there. So laying that back down, my blender. So what I've done there, I've only moved one. So I'm doing this 
about the thickness of the my thick washi tape so as I said I'm just guessing really um, and moving it over a little bit again just take off that major bit and just going in with that little bit of hickory smoke and you'll see the difference I'll do the next one I won't put the hickory smoke on so you can see the difference with the shading so I've actually fast forwarded this um, each of those lines is just repeated exactly the same except that middle one that I didn't blend with the black just to show you the difference there we go so you can see the one in the middle that I've got sitting there that doesn't have that shading on you don't quite get that that um, nice blend that could be used as a photo mat even so there's good so that is the um, little sample and as the one I showed you earlier dark on the outside and just gives that illusion that there's a little bit of depth on the page so that's one I've done this is another one I've done exactly the same technique it just used different widths two different colors added a few fine black lines so you can see it um, you can really make something very unique to your own hope you enjoyed let me know what you think um, I'll talk to you soon